Welcome to MusicMoveIt.com. My name is Torio, and today I want to talk about how to use Dropbox for you to have access of everything you will need to get your music out there. As most of you should know, there's an app called Dropbox, and it basically allows you to upload files to the cloud, basically, and they keep those files safe, and you can access them from anywhere. So you could be at your house, go on your computer or laptop, upload files, download files from your Dropbox account. You could do it from your phone, you could do it from anywhere. That's the beautiful thing about it, you just need your login. Now, why would you wanna do this? Well, think about it like this. Say you're touring, or you're just a busy person, constantly out doing stuff, and someone calls and they're like, hey, this internet radio station wants to start playing your single. And you don't want to be like on the phone like, uh, okay, well, after I get done doing this, I'll send them to them tomorrow. You should get things done quick, fast, sufficiently, everything like that. So you should have a Dropbox account. They're free, but you only get a certain amount of room to put things in there. There are different levels where you could pay and store tons of stuff. But the free account isn't that bad at all. So you want to have access to these files everywhere. Because, like I said, if you're on about or you're touring and you, you can't get home to get certain files to be sent, you just send it right there. Log into your phone, your iPad, whatever. Access your files. You could share them. Email them to other people. Whatever you need. Now, what kind of files should you have in your Dropbox folder? Well, you should have Waves and MP3s of all the songs off your latest project or whatever you're trying to push lately. Now, not just the full songs, but also the instrumentals to those songs. Because you never know, someone might just want an instrumental because they'll be like, well, I could play it in the background of this or I could play it as a bumper on my station. And that means that they'll play it while leading into a commercial or maybe they'll play it underneath when they're talking, stuff like that. So have all your songs from your latest project, regular, and instrumental and if you are in a music genre where you swear a lot or whatever have clean copies of the songs as well or at least the singles have radio copies then you could send those out to whoever may need them also you should have your album cover a high resolution file of your album cover front and back if you have a back it depends if you do the actual cds and sell them as cds or if you just do digital it could just be the front but have a file of your album cover. Also, you can kind of have your press kit all in there in, in a file on Dropbox. So that means you would need a high resolution photo of yourself, your headshot or whatever, your promotional pic, your press kit pic, whatever it may be. Have copies of them. Also have a bio, have a long one and a shorter bio because some people might not need all that info. So for instance, maybe Someone's gonna do a story on you, like a newspaper or a magazine or something like that. They might want the longer bio because then they could read it, get your story, get your background, and they can ask you questions related to the stuff in your long bio. Now, as far as a short bio, maybe radio people may only need a shorter one. They don't need to know your whole backstory. And just, just there's a bunch of others. College radio doesn't need a long one. People like that, they might only need to have a short bio of what you do. You should also have a press release in that folder on Dropbox. Latest press release of what's going on, just in case someone might need it. And if you don't know what a press release is, I'm gonna do a video next week about that. It's basically just talking about what's going on with your music, or if you're doing a video soon, something that's newsworthy, basically. And it should be catchy with the title and everything. So like someone who's in news or is in music news, whether it's for a newspaper or whatever, TV even, when they see your press release, you want to make it sound newsworthy that people in them who love music are going to want to hear about it but i'm going to do a whole different video on press releases and how to send them out next time so i'll get more on that later on also if you have any music videos out that you've done for your latest singles have a file of the video in your dropbox then you could send that as well you never know what people are going to want what they require they might be like okay i want to do an interview with you but can you send me a couple of your latest singles and send your bio send a promotional picture that I could print and uh, whatever else. That way you have all that stuff in your Dropbox account ready to send instantly. That's what it's for. That's what you need to do. 
So all this kind of stuff is just, it's like your arsenal, ready to go re for whatever call you may get. Or if your manager calls you and says, I need this, 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 and this. If you're on the road, get on your phone, send the files out instantly. No more waiting, no more, I can't do this until I get home, I'm in Florida right now, or whatever. So that's why you should have a Dropbox account or something similar. There's other services just like Dropbox. I'm just using Dropbox as, as an example because that's what I use. And have all these files ready to go and can extremely help with your career and possibly getting interviews and radio play and all that good stuff, especially when you're quick. People like that. They don't want to sit around and wait three days for a file to come in. So next video, though, I'm going to get into press kits. So watch out for that. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe if you haven't. If you are in the music industry or you're trying to learn more on music business, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and they will notify you whenever a new video comes out. I have a whole bunch of videos, over 100, I believe, that you go back and watch on my channel. And hopefully they'll help you out. Don't forget to look below in the description. There's a bunch of resources for artists and bands to use. Tons of things, tons of discounts on things that people use all the time, like Bandzoogle, TuneCore, all that good stuff. You click the links below and it'll take you to whatever it says. So it might be like 15% off of this uh, using this link only. So look down there. There's like TuneCore stuff. Like I said, Bandzoogle, all kinds of online things that could be useful for you. So look in the description. You never know what, what might be there. Leave a comment. Do you have a folder that you can use on the go, whether it's on your PC or is it in the cloud, like Dropboxes? Let me know, how does it work for you? Do you like it? I want to thank you for watching this video. I will see you soon.